don't even want that 100. No, I'm a rule follower. Just because nobody to come? Mm -mm. So we, we got to the spot where we went with the mayor that time. And that's already 3,000 steps. I'm using the pedometer today. The, this my baby. <laughs> Joe said, when did I give birth to him if he's my baby? Okay, he don't have to be my baby. I could get a new one. <laughs> oh, I don't know how far we're going to go today. But we feel good. Let me tell you what we ate. Two dates. <laughs> Two dates. Because we needed the energy. And I don't want anything in my stomach to cause problems. The are empty. Only one or two people just did this early. We got all the way to Cedar. And we were going to try to push it to go to the next intersection. Whatever that is. But then there's a couple over there in the bushes. That's fighting. The man is screaming at the top of his lungs. That she cheated on him. And it seems like it's going to escalate. I'm like, nah. Let's turn back, Joe. We'll do this another time. But this is Cedar. We heard them even before we crossed the street. But I didn't know where it was coming from. I thought somebody was talking loudly in a car. So, he's like cussing her out. He's like, you cheated on me. You stupid B word. I'm like, it's nothing for him to grab a knife or a gun, kill that woman, and then we're the eyewitness. Y'all know what it is, right? The eyewitness always get killed. Uh-uh. I tell Joe, look, the Holy Ghost give you instincts for a reason. Let's turn back. Mm-hmm. When I walk with the mayor again on the 21st, I'm gonna ask her, how come they don't have bike cops patrolling this trail? Because this is a beautiful trail, but you need to feel safe. I would never come if Joe wasn't by my side. Ooh, Lord, crazy. So, I was gonna push it too. <laughs> we got all the way down there. And then I meant, mm, mm, mm. Girl, where? Girl, why? <laughs> I tell Joe, God gives you instincts to protect yourself. When people say, I don't judge, only God can judge. You lie. Because I judge them people just now. That man's gonna be a killer, and I'm not gonna be the eyewitness. 259. 259 for what? The calories? Huh? Yeah. That sounds about right, because we, we burn 500 and something calories whenever we come up this far. So we turn it back, y'all. Uh -uh. Remember, we have to go see Osley, okay? It's his birthday. Yeah, then I know. Okay, so explain what this <laughs> They're going to eat your thing. <laughs> explain what it is. This is a t shirt machine. I'm making a t shirt. T shirt screen. silk screen machine. I'm going to fly to come in. Show me. I'm going to put my. I can put two, one bolt here, one bolt here. Put so, the screen in there, lock it down. So that's the holy screen, all right? Screen. This is to lift up the screen. Uh huh. Bring it down back. Then you bring it down. Then you get a squeegee. Oh, well, I like how it's shaped like a T-shirt. Check take, you out. <laughs> take a squeegee and whoops, finish. Uh huh. Pop it back up. How we on dry? It? Blow dry. Make it blow dry. Uh huh. And that's the way it works. So probably I get paint. You're going big. Buy or big. <laughs> we need pink and white paint. Because we want to put all this on dark. Simple. Done. Very simple, my love. See? I have to lock this down somewhere. With your brains, wait, with my brains and your labor. <laughs> I won't say it backwards. <laughs> I had no part of this, guys. This is all Joe, Joe the genius. We're getting a plate for the bottom. Mm. Just cut off this access so you could be shorter. And you pick up all the scrap out of the backyard. And this mirror, this one right <laughs> shelf. I know. <laughs> this piece of two-way for it there. Course. What's up, Course? Okay. Cora, pretty eye, Cora. Cora have pretty eyes too, you know. You're gorgeous, Cora. You're gorgeous. Wednesday, you're always gorgeous. Back up. I had to go make labels for my handbag line. And to make the labels, you have to like place each label. All over the paper right after I printed it it didn't come out good on a t-shirt transfer paper so I thought that I did something wrong maybe I didn't pick the correct paper maybe I maybe I didn't pick the best quality for the ink no I was running out of ink and didn't know so it sucks but we're gonna have to use it you can still read it it's still legible so we're gonna have to use it so 
It is 2.30 right now. We have not been to Osley yet. I think he's already had lunch. He's probably resting now or just playing uh, games in the dining room. So I think we should go now. I was inside my room there trying to make banners for the, um, the parade. And at first I was trying to like put everything on one banner, like the feature, which is Jada, and then put the sponsors, which is Bear Pantry Show and Joshua. Joshua has some art. Helen suggested that. But it's looking cluttery. I don't know what we're advertising. It's not clear. And so what we're going to have to do is just put Jada on one banner. And I was thinking maybe the banner where you hold the stick and somebody walks with you and you walk together. I don't know. We might just have to go back to the banners that are hanging on the truck or something because who wants to do that, right? Who wants to carry these sticks the whole way? <laughs> you have to have people that's dedicated. We're on our way to visit Osley. Actually, we already passed his street, but Joe had to come to Home Depot to go pick up two bolts and a spring for his silt screen, his t-shirt silt screen machine that he's making from scratch. We've already decided that we will have to buy the screens rather than make them because it's too much investment to invest in mesh and then emulsion and glue and frame and everything to make the screen so we're gonna have to have the screens made but we only need three so it's one for Jada's logo because her logo is just Jada Julianne in cursive and we're gonna print it in white on whatever we do for her and then two for my logo because my logo is you know as you see it on the fridge behind me it's black and pink but when we print it we're gonna do white and pink because um, I want to put it on dark stuff and the black's not going to show up on dark stuff. So we can actually start printing the logo on the opposite side of the aprons if we desire. So we're going to figure this out, guys. Ozzy's birthday is today. He's turning 72 years old and I'm taking this for him. One raisined poda bun. He's not eating sweets because of his diabetes, so I'm not going to go make a cake. And he can share this with his girlfriend, you know? Jada's at her job. Actually, it's right across the street. Um, we didn't see her in the parking lot to go say hi. Um, she didn't have a good night on the job last night, guys. She came home and I could tell she was upset, but she wasn't ready to talk. So I guess later on she spoke to Joshua and Joshua already pinched me and told me the story. And then Jada came and told me the story and she's all like, Mom, this night manager that I um, have to deal with is horrible. We do exactly what we're supposed to do. The job is done, finished, and he still comes and keeps us there late, 40, you know, 35, 40 minutes late each night, and he screams in our faces and hollers at us, and he was screaming at us last night, and I'm looking at him like, I'm done. I, I'm, Jada was like, I'm shook, I'm done. And she says, honestly, if they can't give me a deadline as to when they're going to put me in the bakery because it's already been seven weeks, um, I'm going to put in my two weeks notice and, and get a better job. And I said, all you have to tell the next job is that the hours didn't work out for me on that job because I'm a student and I want to finish by getting my degree. She could go work for the city. They're hiring people to run the video camera for KFON TV. Remember the program that I was on with the mayor? They're hiring people to run the camera there. So she could go do that. She's got enough credits racked up towards her associates that they would hire her. You know what I mean? So I told her already, baby, I don't put any pressure on her. You know, as, as, bad, as, as bad as things are um, financial for us ever since we've closed, well, since before we closed the business, we've been managing and we've been managing without her paycheck. Her paycheck has all gone into paying off her, her bills, you know? So um, she's not made a decision yet, but she's like, I don't want to work these night shifts. And every time I can swap it with somebody, I swap it because I honestly told him I could not work nights when I got hired on because it's, it's tough for her to wake up and get to school the next day. And that's why the kids are still with me because they want to finish out their degree and then they can start their lives. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, you know, you have my support, whatever you decide, you have my support because my kids don't ever make like rash decisions. You know, they always uh, think things through and if she can bear it, I know she'll bear it um let me see I didn't sew anything today so I didn't do the sewing tutorial and it's because I need a label and after I already printed I wasted two of my transfer papers printing those stupid labels to just find out that I guess the ink is almost out the black ink so it's not looking good so I'm just gonna cut one piece off iron it onto a piece of fabric and see how it looks so I can make that one bag and then we're gonna have to buy ink for the printer so um I guess I'll see you guys when we get over to Osley. I'm still in the truck waiting for Joe, but I just opened my YouTube thing to read your comments because I really do look forward to your comments. And Tracy said, um, let me tell you as a food planner, food coach, you're doing the damn thing. I'm like, yes, <laughs> that feels so good coming from you, Trace, because I really respect uh, what you and Webb do. And I really look to you for advice when it comes to the food stuff. 
and then Helen was like everything falling into place she loves the yellow bike good uh, job on the weight loss looking good thanks Helen my darling sister and Seth's girl girl you know we talk all day about this thing I'm doing it Jada gave me a good compliment today she says mom I'm living here with you and I see that you're not new to it you are true to it you are doing it and I have to get on board but I'm under too much stress right now and all I can do each day is not eat junk and pretty soon I'll get back into the swing of my exercise program and my eating right program because she was meal planning too who does a fool here Ronaldo Lopez who always tell me something fool te amo pretty single I'm like what you see that I married Ronaldo I won't block you off on my page directly that's exactly what happened to you whenever I add anybody to Facebook and they come at me right away hello beautiful woman I'm a widower and blah 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 blah. I have two kids I'm like bish bye you got time to play no games with people out there yeah so you guys motivate me um, I got another compliment yesterday when I was at Walmart the young lady I'm talking to the camera and the men that are loading their truck looked at me like who the hell is she talking to the young lady that cut fabric for me one time before she's a really cool girl uh, she actually ordered six of my tote bags but for October for her wedding but anyways that's not the story I wanted to tell you she said I went to go check your um your YouTube channel because you gave me your card the last time and I showed it to my boyfriend and I told him I know her she comes in the store and let me tell you something she's exactly the same way that she is on her video in real life and I just kind of had to take a moment and breathe and go, you know what, thank you. Because that's what I wanted when I started YouTube. You see a lot of YouTubers and they have YouTube personalities. You know, where they're like, ah, da, da, da. yes, look at me, I'm always happy. I have 16 kids and I know my husband cheating on me on a sly, but I'm happy, girl. Please, people, please. I watched a vlog the other day. What's, what's the girl name now? Britney Space? Brit's Place? I don't remember they used she used to be a part of a husband and wife team um, team that's called knife nulls or something and I watched her stuff the other day and and I guess it grabbed my attention because she said she was so devastated or she was heartbroken or something what the hell no because I know she and her husband had split up or whatever from uh, finding her like six months ago and watching a couple of her vlogs so I went to go see what she was upset about she was upset about the YouTube shooting she doesn't live here she was not at the YouTube space uh, she's like I was speaking to one of my representatives there. I'm like oh my god please don't let it be about you please please I hate those type of topics I mean my mom died and I didn't come on the thing and cry like that you know when I when I do cry crying on again on video it's because I mute it show a segment and move on just and I only put that in now and again to let you guys know that I'm not always perky I'm not always happy I'm not always joyous but I do try to find joy throughout the day because sometimes the days just suck you know can we just be honest sometimes you're in pain in parts of your body that you don't even want to talk about and pain sucks you know pain is proof that something is out of order and then you start to worry and then sometimes again you're in financial pain and then sometimes you're in spiritual pain and sometimes you want to lash out in your pain at everybody else but I have to take a deep breath and go no 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 I can't do this I gotta pull it together girl girl I gotta pull it together Joe hurry up man you do waste my gas out here I got Seth on the phone, tell her hi. Hi. <laughs> My baby is sweat, but this is what you like doing, right? Cards? Yeah.
I love mariachi music. Yes, I, I brought him a powder bun for your birthday. Alright guys, so we are live visiting Osley for his birthday. You guys are gonna see this in the vlogs. Oh, look what he had his story. <laughs> Your gal. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Joe asked Asli if he got a happy birthday kiss today. Asli said it does not have to be my birthday for me to get that. Okay? <laughs> I'll show you, Mr. Joe. <laughs> So this is the silk screening machine guys. So he has a screen in. This is one of my old screens. Bring it down with your head. Huh? Bring it down. Bring it down. So you put the shirt on, right? Press Bring it down. Pin. Get your squeegee. Yeah. Press the paint through. Press yeah. how, how do you line up the next color? You just have to eyeball it. If, if it's just one shirt. Yeah. You just put the shirt right there. Try it. Yeah. Put you in there. Screen in the light. Okay. <laughs> Okay. But you just can't, I mean, if you want to do more, one, then mm -hmm. later on. I don't mind some of mine have one color, but I want somebody to have two colors. We could do that. Maybe put, print the shirt, uh -huh. dry it, put it in, and put, put it in, light it up again, and try to see if it works. Funny man t-shirt press. Oh my God, MacGyver. You outdid yourself this time. Okay, see? That's it. Mmm, girl. This is what I've designed for Jada. I think she'll probably want this to be red. Um, I want it simple, because as the parade is coming down the street and our floats show up, I want them to see it's a taste of Belize in America, who she is, what it's about, and I think here I'll put a Belize flag and American flag on the stick. So I gotta go see my my graphic artist that's um, located where I used to have the shop and see what we can do for this banner. Anyways, if you like what I've produced today, please go ahead and like the video by hitting the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you can know when I upload another vlog or another review. And also, do not forget to comment because I really look forward to your comments. They keep me going. They really do. I will see you guys tomorrow night with another vlog because I'm hoping to get this one up tonight. Bye. Yeah, daddy, you know, you kimono. Yeah, papa.